Welcome to Torrential Riff, episode 82. Today's band focuses Angelica, Rock, Stock, and Barrel. This was originally released on Intense Records in 1991. Um, so again, another new singer for Angelica. So the first three records, he had uh, a new singer in each one. Um, of course, uh, Dennis Cameron is, you know, trademark signature guitar tone. So really, uh, one of my favorite guitarists. So this got a new reissue in um, uh, 2019 on Gerda Records, done by Greg Hayes. I don't know if I have to check to see if uh, Rob remastered this or Dennis Cameron remastered this. We'll check in the notes. I know the uh, lead's gonna be coming up here in a second. So you take the CD out, you got the rock, stock, and barrel. It doesn't say and barrel, but not a big deal. The background is uh, so so. Um, take a look at the back. I like the back, it's got the picture of the band, logo in the background. Tracks aren't numbered, but they are timed. So let's take a look at the cover. So, okay, so let's compare the cover. So this is the new one with the angled logo. This is the old one, like in the stone. Crack stone. Uh, these pictures have better quality here than the new one. It's in the dentist here. So, um, and this record, uh, it's, it's slightly not as, well, I should reword it, it's not as heavy. Um, this is more in the hard rock genre, where the other ones were hard rock with like a little metal bite to it. Um, it's more of a rock album, which is great. You know, when you're moved for this, it's very uh, uplifting and just the way the tone of the, the CD is. Alright, uh, let me finish the um, front cover. I'm a little bit torn on this one, guys. I think this Angelica... Whoop, focuses on my finger. I think this Angelica, it pops more. But I don't like that it's cut off at the top. I like that this logo's here. If this logo popped a little more, I would say I like this one better. Oh, I don't know. See, this, these pictures are better than these. See how it's kind of the colors look a little washed out in the detail? You can see the strands of hair and Dennis there. But here you don't see it. It's kind of washed out. Um, I don't know. Mm. I, think I, I think I have to go with the original one. I, I, can't, I don't like that it's cut off at the top. I don't know why that bugs me, but it does. Um, uh, on the back, this is boring, so definitely on the new one, the back art is better, for sure. Let's take a look on the inside. And again, the rock stock and barrel, eh, not sure about the color, the yellow. It's okay. So you, get, you got red background on black. You can read it, it's just not the... It's not preferred way. So we put, did put some more in the middle here. 
the old cassette. Picture of Dennis in concert there. Synopsis by Dennis himself, talking about the record. The rest of the packaging. It's kind of bland. I mean, he did put rock stock in barrel on, on the lyrics from the bottom. I do like that. It kind of flows. Background colors are, again, a little bit boring. It's all right, though. And you get the picture of the guys here. See Dennis Cameron on the vocals. Let's listen to Dennis here. That look there was taken from one of the demos that he had made previously. Uh, I like uh, Sail Away, is it? Uh, I don't know if, if I knew the track number, I'd go into it. It's six. Six. I like this one. It's pretty heavy. The bass is thumping too. This is one of the heavier songs on here. So again, it's not overly heavy, but it rocks hard. So, uh, did we see who remastered this? What? Where's the, um... I think I want to say Dennis remastered this. Maybe if he talks, I wonder if he talks about it in the, in the liner notes. So he might say it in here. I don't remember. I did read it when it first came out, but I don't remember. But the remaster does sound good. A little cleaner, a little more thumping bass. Right, let's skip to the lead here. Right, guys that's gonna do it for this episode rock on that's it for this one see you in the next one later